Hi everyone. So this is going to be a really quick little, you know, two or three minute demo of the modular city kit and like how it's set up and how to use it and everything. So we're in the Unity game engine right now. And all these little pieces are modular, which means they'll, you know, snap to each other. Um, they have no bottoms, but they have roofs and backs and fronts. And they're very low poly, um, so they're ideal for mobile. You know, these are your city buildings you would propagate in the city. And then these are all of kind of the modular um, little pieces that you would snap around. Now, one important thing in here is, you know, to kind of select the stuff in the scene, all of the city stuff. And where it says center here for the pivots, just make it go to the pivot point, you know, for stuff. And you'll notice now instead of being at the center, all of the pivots are properly where they should be. And um, same thing for the road pieces. They were centered, but now they're, you know, they're where they should be. Now, the way that Unity snapping works is what you're going to use, and you're going to hold down the V key, and it basically lets you, before you snap it, it's asking you, like, what vertice do you want to, you know, snap from. So, actually, we don't even really need to worry about it when working in Unity, where the pivot points are and all of that. So, this is... <clears throat> A little gridded out kind of city section. I'm going to turn off the wireframe. That I went and kind of snapped together, and you can see how it works and everything. And so uh, I started fleshing out somewhat of a city. I'm going to go back to the wireframe because when you're snapping stuff, it's easier to to look at it in wireframe. I'll just show you kind of how to use it. So I take like, just for example, um, oops, and I'm holding down Shift and I'm just selecting all of these pieces um, that I want to drag and use and then I'm just going to hit control D and copy it kind of move it over here let me just move it down here and then you know just kind of start grabbing the pieces that you want to use I'll hit control D and grab this one kind of pull it close to where I want to put it and then I'll hold down the V and let's just use that little edge for it right there and then it you know it cleanly and flawlessly kind of just snap to that section there and and that's exactly what you want to happen so grab another piece and um, kind of pull it in where we want it hold down the V key grab a point and snap it in and you have it kind of smoothly snapped where you want it and then you know say we want to do a curve or something that's why we have all these different pieces um, this one's set to center for some odd reason some of them didn't get set let's just make sure it's set to pivot bring it over here where we want and then um, we'll just use one of these little verts here line it up snap it and our corner has snapped in really good and then you just kind of see some of them like it doesn't have the uh, pivot point where I want it so that's where Unity's holding down the V key really kinda helps you out and then we have these kinda like filler pieces and you're really just gonna have to to uh, figure out um, what's gonna fit where you need it to fit to kinda fill these in um, like that probably was not the proper piece I think this one was it's sort of almost like doing a puzzle you know see that was actually our lined up filler piece and then um, you know you would just let me grab this you would just carry on this way for infinity until you were hold down the V key and then um, snap it up there it is, snapped, and just continue on and on to infinity until you build something kind of like this. Now, actually, what I would suggest is, um, see, these are all separate pieces, and if you have Unity Pro, you can go in here and kind of select your pieces, and then check mark this little static over here, and Unity would kind of batch them together or combine the geometry into one piece. Now, not everybody has access to static batching so um, what I'm gonna suggest is is that you prototype this and snap this all together in your 3d app there is the FBX file right here that will import into your 
3D app, 3DS Max, uh, Maya, whatever. And um, I'll just delete that. And basically, when you start with your fresh scene or whatever, you'll just you know kind of drag your city in there. This is one to one meters, so it's in meters actually, so it's real world scale. Um, let me go in here, and so in the project folder in your Unity project, you'll have an assets folder, and in there you have your models, textures. If you don't want to use this Unity project and you just want to drag these textures and this model into your own project, just grab the FBX and um, the materials folder and um, the textures. Just grab those assets and pull them into your project's assets folder and that way you just have the models and the um, textures. So I think I'm going to open up another scene real quick because I think I went and I kind of um, I'll give it a second, it's lagging. I went in and I um, kind of scattered some buildings so you can kind of see um, how cool it can look like fleshed out, you know, kind of like a real city and it's really cool and neat. And um, it's just snapping all these really low poly um, pieces together. It's just a really low poly city so this is obviously really ideal for for mobile and this would be like blazing fast in, in your web player kind of builds and all that so if you want a city to fly over in a flight simulator or a helicopter or something then they have the roofs so you could do it that way too um, last thing is is I'm including a um, a source file which is actually in Maya um, like I said you can pull the FBX file into Maya or Max or any package that you want but this will just kind of show you the wireframes um, and how low poly these are. Like if I select a building and um, let's turn on poly count. So that's a nine poly building. This one's the most dense one we have probably and it's 26 polys. So these are just insanely low resolution. And here's some of the um, street pieces here and they're low poly too. Like a section of 16 polys. Um, let's look at some of the intersection pieces. They're low poly too. So everything's really well optimized. Um, like I said, what I would suggest doing is going and snapping all of this. See how they're still separate. Um, if you don't have static batching in Unity Pro or whatever, I would suggest combining all this in your 3D package and just combining it into way bigger chunks. You know, don't don't completely combine everything, but just combine like some sections like that maybe and um, keep it in a lot less sec you know sections or chunks of geometry and that way it can cull out some part of the world so I hope this helps you guys kind of develop stuff like your any kind of games that you want car games or whatever and just kind of get you on the path to making games